Hello, darling. How you feeling today? Well, I hope that your answer was that you're feeling good and blessed and highly favored because you are. All right. And if you're not, your ass will be feeling that way by the end of this reading. Okay. <laughs> I'm trying to block out the sun so it don't uh, blind you. Okay. That seems significant. Hmm. Okay. So come on in. Let's get these messages for you today, okay? Holy Spirit, help me tap in with the collective today and bring them a message that they need to hear. Ashe, the phases of the moon could be significant. There could be something significant about a phase in your life, okay? I was drawn today to really spend a lot of time outside and while out in nature acorns just acorns <laughs> okay saving up for something could be significant like trying to save up for something this could be um something in the material world like you know physical uh, it could be a trip it could be anything honestly but saving could be significant here all right whatever you do believe in the impossible all right holy spirit what messages do you have please there's something about no effort needed um and when i say that i want to say i'm it, it feels like a request that was made a prayer a petition a journal entry whatever but it feels like a request right It's very important right now to trust where you're being led. Something's going to fall in place for you. I don't know what this is. It's probably different for everyone, right? But something is aligning. If you feel a nudge to go somewhere, do something try something new and this has been coming up in the collective readings for quite a minute now all right but if you feel a nudge try to do it spirit is aligning you with the right people places and things you need in your life at this moment all right you and your loved ones are safe all right there's something here about an inheritance a legacy leaving being able to leave something to someone as well is what i'm hearing being able to provide something messages please spirit there's something about being open here, right? Because I just heard from spirit, you're an open channel. I know I am. You may be as well, though. Something is going to come through you. It's some sort of relief. I just heard release as well. some sort of relief and or release is going to come through you. Okay. Holy Spirit, messages please. What do they need to hear today? Specialty. Something about a specialty. Um, I just heard consignment shop. What is it called? Swapping or something is what I just heard too. All right. On the bottom of the deck, it's time to release negativity. Interesting. All right, we finally got one that came out. <laughs> All right. You are very close to achieving your goal, right? And let me tell you about negativity. What... <laughs> 
the enemy meant for bad, God gonna use for good. I've been hearing that a lot over the last few months. So I don't know what you are going through specifically. But it's like seeing the goal so close you can almost touch it, right? And then here comes the enemy to distract you to pull your attention away from what you are whatever this goal is that you're working on right place <clears throat> people in your way to slow you down rise above is what I'm hearing and remember yeah how do I say that not remember your goal per se but it's like <clears throat> I just heard remember the promise all right so God could have pro made a promise to you it's something you're feeling led to you're on the right track you're on the right track let's see what else comes out you and your loved ones are safe is here again. This is giving me an energy of someone like there's something very heavy on your mind that you want to be able to provide for your loved ones or even for yourself, right? You're very close to achieving whatever that is, okay? Rise above the distractions, any negativity, anything that wants to try to hinder you. Holy Spirit. More messages, please. The answers you need are coming. These answers could be from a Gemini, but they don't have to be. Gemini is, I think of <laughs> two sides for one thing, like two sides of something. I don't know what, how that correlates here, but two sides. I'm also hearing something about a good friend. All right, twins could even be significant. Twin flames, having an actual fraternal or um, identical twin could be significant. Let's see what else comes out, okay? Very chill vibes. I'm loving your, your energy, okay? <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. I heard it's a privilege. <laughs> it's a privilege. The privilege is all mine. Or something like that. That's giving me like help, right? Like someone saying thank you and someone saying like you're welcome. All right, gratitude could be helpful for you right now. Like focusing on things that you're grateful for. You know, gratitude always increases the flow of abundance, right? Whatever you're working on, whatever you're working towards, you win. <laughs> It's gonna happen for you. You're on the right track. Mm. March 3rd could be significant or 33, 303. All right. A new start is coming. I'm gonna take that as confirmation. The color purple could be significant. All right, that makes me think of the movie, right? All right, uh, masculine energy from your youth could be very significant as well. You could have felt outcast as a youth, even as an adult, okay? Oh my God, that is, y'all, I don't know what kind of bug that is, but his wings are scaring me. I just hope it don't come over here 
y'all are. I love nature, but I don't like bugs, okay? Just period. Anyway, remember in the end of the new color purple, you know, if you've seen it yet, if not, spoiler alert, okay? <laughs> you might want to fast forward. But in the end, um, I can't remember her name, but the main character, right? Not only did she get back what was rightfully hers, in the end, she got even more, right? Someone has stolen her inheritance. The man who was supposed to be her damn daddy. Okay, so I don't know. Masculine energy could be significant. An inheritance being, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. That could be significant as well. Just pick up what resonates for you. But even if none of that happened in your life, there's an energy here of restoration, of rest. Okay, I heard like no need to do, right? We're human beings, not doing. I'm hearing enter a state of rest. Allow your mind to rest. Allow your body to rest. You take care of a lot of others, right? But your inner man is like, yo, come here. Let me talk to you for a minute. Come, come here, let me take care of you. You get what I'm saying? Moment of stillness. It's intentional. Right? The pauses. Sometimes the delays. Right? I heard delay, but not denied. Okay? And it's not even really a delay. It's divine timing. This goal that you're working towards is right here in the cards. It's already done. Thank God for it. Anticipate it. Get happy about it. <laughs> this is your confirmation. Real talk. All right. There's a magical side of you that is, I'm not gonna say, because I feel like it's mixed, right, with our collective. Some of us are really tapping into our more magical side. We are um, in awe of life, you know what I'm saying? The little things in life, the sunrise, the sunset, the abundance of trees and plants and food and everything else that just comes up out the ground naturally. You know, just being grateful for those things and seeing the magic in this crazy ass world we live in. <laughs> it's all about perspective, right? But some of us are still discovering the magic within. Let it out. <laughs> right? Tell the tell the ego to just have a seat for a day. <laughs> let let the magic let the magic run today, okay? Let me tell you what else. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you. I read somewhere, somebody said something about um, they let, they ask God to surprise them. Every morning they wake up and say, God, surprise me today. I did that shit, y'all. And I'm a, I'm a planner, like, for the most part. <laughs> God bless my ADHD, right? Because shiny object syndrome is a thing. But for the most part, I like to plan my days out, right? And yesterday I had my whole day planned out, but I asked God to surprise me. Not only did God surprise me, I surprised myself because I was living in the moment, right? Everything I planned to do yesterday, ain't none of that shit get done. But guess what did get done? I had fun, I, I grew, you know what I'm saying? Like that was, a, that was growth for me to be spontaneous. So I say all of that to just say, ask God to surprise you today. Look how that smoke just, that's confirmation, y'all. And peep your surroundings. You know what I'm saying? When things like, you know, like, okay. 
It's magic all around. Yeah, ask God to surprise you today and see what happens. Take your hands off the wheel. Be a human being and just be and allow. Because there's some sort of magic around you. And y'all know the enemy. I try not to get a ninja too much of my attention, but we have to be aware of the tricks of the enemy. The tricks of the enemy will try to convince you that you're not doing what you need to be doing, that you're not on the right path, that you're not putting in enough work, that you need to go harder, stay longer. You know what I'm saying? There's a time and a place for all of that, right? But there's also a time and a place to just be. Anyway, just a quick little message. I hope that it helped. You can let me know your thoughts down below if you feel like it. I love you so much. Um, for the month of October, we are doing $55 readings. So if you ever wanted to get a personal reading, hit your girl up. <laughs> the links are in the description box and or in the pinned comment section so hope to connect with you in a reading really soon all right i love you so much and i'll talk to you later bye baby